Hey everyone, it's Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do an unboxing of these shoes. They are a Meerman hand welted uh, Utah calf split toe derby. Looking forward to it. Welcome to the Wisconsin Shoe Guy YouTube channel. Here we discuss all types of things about dress shoes. We have unboxing videos. We talk about general shoe knowledge so that you understand some of the finer intricacies of how shoes are made. And then we have worth the price videos where we actually do a shoe review, try to get into detail with both qualitative and quantitative things. Then we'll do shoe battles comparing shoe to shoe. Uh, then I also have the opportunity to interview experts in the field. Check out my playlists to see all my videos. Hey everyone, this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Uh, I'm pointing out today, this is a group that uh, I am an admin for on Facebook called Meerman Enthusiasts. This is a really cool group where we get together and we talk about Meerman shoes and different uh, aspects of the uh, brand, as well as questions on sizing. If you ever have uh, questions, feel free to uh, look us up and give us a shout. Hey, and welcome back. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today we are here to do an unboxing of a cool pair of shoes that I got from Meerman. So um, as you guys all know, I, I like uh, split toes. And uh, one of the things that uh, I've always wanted to have was I wanted to have a split toe in Utah calf. And, um, you know, I've been trying to find it. Um, finally, um, you know, I, I looked at a couple of other um, hand welted versions and, um, you know, I wound up always going with the hatch grain, which is very similar to Utah calf, but I haven't been able to find a lot of Utah. So um, Meerman, had a number of shoes that were in Utah Cap, but they didn't have the right ones. So I reached out and said, hey, would you guys be willing to do this? Would it be something that we could do? Oh yeah, sure, we'll do it for you. It all kind of worked out. And um, lo and behold, they have an MTO program uh, that uh, you can do. There's just a surcharge for it. So they, um, they worked up this pair of shoes and this is the unboxing of the Meerman. This is a, the model number is a 106, 596. Now 106 means that it's part of the hand welted line. This is actually Norwegian stitch um, and it's in Cognac, Utah. And so here we go. So it comes in the box, looks like this. There are two Merriman bags and um, let's take a look at the shoes. Now Cognac is one of my new favorite colors. You know, a lot of people ask questions about whether or not it's veg tanned or chrome tanned, and they say that it smells different. This smells like leather, so it must be veg tanned. That's what they said. I don't know whether or not that's true or not, but that is something that uh, one of my viewers actually commented on the other day. Um, so what I like about this is this stitching here, this where it has the pie crust on a flat joining of the two pieces of leather, that is the um, that is the stitch that I really want to get. And so as I look at different shoes and I look at different models around, uh, that's always what I'm looking for. Uh, when I looked at the October 10th model, that's what I asked for. I, I was pretty clear saying, hey, is this a pie crust? Does it have this stitching? They said, oh, yes, yes, it does. And then when I got it and it was with suede uh, combined, it was not there. It was just a different one. So the, this, again, I'm going to just put it up here that pie crust uh, version up there is really quite nice, uh, very lovely and something that I like. And then of course you can see the Utah calf um, uh, texture is just so, so nice. It's so sublime. When you get a Meerman shoe um, and you, you choose to have it with the uh, JR soles, um, you choose to have it with the Norvigy stitching, um, that it, it is part of their Linea Maestro line. And that line is hand welted. Uh, so the, um, the uppers, the counters, the, the, um, the shank, all of the pieces inside the shoe are upgraded as well, including the insole, which is perhaps one of the most important. So I'm um, really excited about these. Um, I only have one pair of Meerman um, hand welted today, and that's a pair of full cuts, um, which I actually wore today. So here's the other one. Take that out, take this out. Now I went with the size 10, 
um, instead of a nine and a half. Last time I had bought, uh, this is on the Hero Last, the last time I bought shoes on the Hero Last, I actually went with a size 11. So this is going down quite a bit for me and um, I'm pretty excited about them. They, they look pretty well. Uh, those, the, the ones that I have and I wore today are also a 10. Uh, that's on the Elton last, but um, I found from my prior shoes uh, that those lasts are pretty similar. So um, again, uh, just, uh, you know, not necessarily as clean as you would, um, you know, see other times uh, in terms of the, the sole. Uh, you know, you see like a lot of blemishes here. That's all stuff that is gone on the first day. Um, and, and candidly, I don't really care about what the bottom of the sole looks like unless it's a patina anyway. And uh, just looking here, this is one piece of leather. This heel cap was cut without a seam. So they actually took extra care to do that. Um, that's hard. Now, when you look at, I mean, this is Mirman, right? So, you know, you're looking at, you're, you're not spending a thousand dollars on a pair of shoes. You know, this is uh, for the upgrade on the Utah calf, for the upgrade on the uh, Norvegies hand welting and so forth. I mean, the uh, upgrades do add up, but you're still looking at, um, you know, high fours, low $500 um, and, uh, and including the custom fees, which were not insignificant. So it's, um, this is a, uh, it's a special shoe for me uh, because it was not something that was available. Now, of course, what happened is that after I asked about it and um, we went back and forth and we decided on it, um, they came up with a special event with this style of shoe where you get it in any material and any welt and any kind of thing that you wanted. Um, and so then, you know, then it, then it, you know, was a little bit less expensive than I had paid and uh, um, was out there, but I decided not to do that. Uh, but I do have another pair that's coming tomorrow that is the same style of shoe. Instead of having it hand welted though, I had it Goodyear welted and it's in a willow grain. And I'm excited about that because willow grain is also the shoe or the leather that you can get a dark brown uh, Crockett and Jones bell for in. And that is part of their hand grade line. And I really wanted to compare the two shoes. So I'm excited to see that and how that comes out uh, so that uh, um, I can uh, pick up a ball for as well and uh, do a comparison of Meerman compared to the, um, you know, the Crockett and Jones hand grade line, uh, since those happen to be the only two shoes I've ever found in the same leather. So exciting stuff there. Uh, so this is, uh, this is a really nice, nice uh, look. I like the, uh, you know, if you look at the hand welting on this, um, on this welt, okay. The, it, it is a Norvegy stitching, but it is unique to Meerman in this little braid that they have. Um, and I'm excited about that and how that's going to look. Um, I will, uh, um, you know, this is not, this is not the same as what I have on my whole cuts. So I'm gonna do a comparison of the two and uh, do some pictures, hopefully uh, add some value for you there. So anyway, that is the end of the unboxing. If you have questions, let me know. Look forward to uh, seeing you, thanks. So here they are, a little bit close up, higher quality with my camera. Here they are compared to the hole cuts that I referred to earlier. You can see how the welts are similar. Here you can see the sole wear uh, before and after. So this is kind of the new versus old. Um, this is on the whole cut. You can see the way it looks kind of like a chain link, but it's really not here. You can see the same here. Basically, this is three rows of stitches. So there's a bottom row, a middle row, which kind of looks like a chain link, and then a top row. Uh, again, you can see that here where it's compared. Uh, here you can see some top shots. Uh, the uh, fudging on the welt, they did a nice job. It really matches in with the way the uh, uh, stitches are put into the sole. Um, which is actually really buried below behind the fudging, but it's there. Um, you can see another angle here. Uh, then again, just the top angles, uh, basically left, right, and then centered dead on or left.